Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For prime time to this day. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Oh man. Man, I don't know if you are aware that Deontay Wilder is set to be back in the ring in a very, very short period of time. And I'm talking about the next few months or so, maybe. Uh, it's not detailed just yet, but I tell you what, we did get a confirmation. And guess who the confirmation came from that the fight is on? Your boy, Andy Ruiz. Andy the Destroyer Ruiz done confirmed that him and Deontay Wilder have a date set. They just ironing out the final details. And I tell you what, this is one of the heavyweight fights that actually we missed that we thought we weren't going to get. Because remember, Andy Ruiz, he beat Anthony Joshua the first fight, took Anthony Joshua belts that Deontay Wilder should have fought Anthony Joshua but Anthony Joshua didn't want no parts of the bronze bomber and we know why because he was on a tear you know the boy was knocking everybody out cold sleep putting them on carts wheeling them off with ambulances like it was a Michael Jackson concert people were passing out by this boy fist so you know Anthony Joshua didn't want no parts of no Deontay Wilder now what we have is a real fight a real heavyweight championship fight two united states former champions deontay the bronze bomber wilder someone that held the heavyweight wbc championship world title belt for five whole years five whole years that man had that belt he made that belt prestigious again he made other fighters want to come and get that belt. But a lot of them weren't brave enough to try and get it. They even offered Anthony Joshua $50 million to fight Deontay Wilder for 30 minutes. And that boy said, no, man, I would have fought Deontay Wilder and Mike Tyson the same night and got my jaw twisted. But you know what? I would have been $50 million richer. Good God. And he turned it down. Down. What man you know that fighting boxing is going to turn down a $50 million payday? Good God. Man, I would have sold bills, cars, trucks, everything. Everything I had for that $50 million fight. And this dude talking about some dog. And then go fight Anthony Ruiz. Or, I mean, Andy Ruiz. Anthony Joshua fights Andy Ruiz and gets knocked out. Yeah. So that $50 million pay that he could have got from Deontay Wilder, out the window, gone. He ain't never getting that no more. See, that's the thing about turning down big deals sometimes. Sometimes if the deal is too good to turn down, don't turn that thing down, you know. But see, Anthony Joshua, he, he was trying to protect that O. He was scared to let that O go. And you know what happened? He ended up fighting Andy Ruiz for a lesser amount, le way lesser than 10 million. I can say that for a fact. <laughs> he didn't even get 10 million dollars for fighting Andy Ruiz and lost his belt, lost everything. Yeah. So he gambled. He said, no, I ain't gonna fight Deontay Wilder. I'm gonna go fight this, this Mexican boy over here. I'm gonna go fight Andy Ruiz. <laughs> he look easy and got knocked out. And what's crazy is Deontay Wilder went into his next fight and lost. So it sounds like to me, Anthony Joshua just ain't a good betting man. He didn't bet on himself for one. <laughs> he betted on Andy Ruiz and lost. <laughs> so now we have the talks of Andy Ruiz versus Deontay the Bronze Palmer Wilder. And that right there, my friends, will settle the dispute of who is the current best heavyweight fighter in the division in the U.S. Now, yeah, we got my man, uh, Jared Big Baby, 
you know, we got Jared Anderson. Yeah, I know. But he he's still a little wet behind the ears. I, I think he needs to fight a former champion before he even gets to the upper echelon of the heavyweight division. That's just my opinion. You know, because a lot of times you see fighters look good like that. But then when they really fight a fighter that can actually fight and that can actually work behind a jab, they don't look that good. They look like a stale pack of nabs. And we don't want that. We don't want no stale nabs. I ain't trying to eat no stale nabs. I want something good. I want a refreshing fight. I want something to where both guys' careers is on the line. And that kind of gives me the resemblance of what we have now. Andy Ruiz coming off a loss. Deontay Wilder coming off a, a big historic trilogy he lost. But, you know, he just fought, knocked the guy out first round. That really didn't give us the test we wanted to see, but I tell you what, I can guarantee you this much. Andy Ruiz, the destroyer, will test Deontay Wilder's skill, stamina, and his strength, and his power. We are going to see who is the best of the best in the USA heavyweight division from these two former champions. That I can guarantee. Because somebody's going to lose. Somebody's going to win. And I, look, I got to keep it real with you. You know, Andy Ruiz, you know, he, he got some, you know, he got some stuff to kind of work out. You know, weight issues. He got family issues. His, his wife divorced him. And, you know, it's a lot. So who is going to overcome the odds? Who is going to be the champion that can bottle and internalize all that's going on on the outside of your world and put it on in the inside of that ring and win that fight? Because when it comes to boxing, it's about the will of a man. It ain't about what the man can do. <laughs> Not all the time. Because, see, you can do everything, but if that fighter that you're fighting don't allow you to, then what you do? Hmm? It boils down to the will. Will you give up? Will you fold? And that's what we're going to find out. We're going to find out who will is the strongest. Me, honestly, personally, I want to bet on Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? Because, hey, the brother has overcame so much. <laughs> For real. Not to say Andy Ruiz has it, but I'm just giving you my analogy that, look, the comparison ain't even close. It ain't even close. It's like... <laughs> It's like cherry tomatoes and, and full bloom tomatoes. <laughs> it's not even close, but I can say this much. I am looking forward to this fight. Andy Ruiz, he done, he done said that he done accepted the challenge. They just ironed out the last little bit of details. But hey, for Andy Ruiz to go on record and to even announce this, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm happy because boxing has now, in 2023, have put on some of the biggest fantasy fights that we have been looking for for, what, five, ten years. And some of these fights, the Crawford versus Spence, that's been brewing for five years. The Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder, four years. Think about it. And the fight we just had with... Devin Haney versus Lomachenko, that was four years. So most of all these fights we have are brewing for over four to five years. Now we're talking about Canelo fighting Jamal Charlo. And you know that's been brewing since 2019. Uh, well, really way before 2019, but it started really picking up speed in 2019 because these guys have really been vocal far as fighting Canelo, the Charlo twins. Both brothers wanted to fight him. And one said, you dodge me, the other one gonna come behind him and get him. So here we are now with all these big super fights, these fantasy fights materializing. And that, my friend, is the key element to what is gonna bring boxing back to where it needs to be. 
So anyway, with that being said, that's all I got for this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. And definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch. And definitely go to the Universe Boxing on Discord. Type it in. Look it up. Join. I guarantee you it will be worth your while. So, all right. Peace till next time.